Good morning gentlemen, this is a short video that is designed to help you with approaching a visual text in a reading assessment. This is the image we'll be looking at today. First of all, a few things that we can look at straight away as we read this image. First one is light and straight away you can see some contrast there between certainly darker parts of the image and then light over in the right hand side. We can also look at colour which in this case is predominantly blue and then there are several cases of symbolism in this image. The first one being the, the bottle there, the salient image of the bottle which also has an allusion to the idea of a shipwreck uh, throwing a, a bottle, a message in a bottle to, to call out for help. So there's a cry for help there and a reference to shipwreck. We'll talk about that in a minute. We can also look at that liquid in the bottom of the bottle, which we can read as being alcohol. And again, we'll talk about that symbol. The helmet that the persona in the bottle is wearing, which hides the face and takes away a part of his identity. We're reading this image in the under the theme of going it alone, so we are looking at the isolation in this image. First of all, our first talking point or first point that you could write about in your response is light. The, the character in the bottle is surrounded by darkness in his part of the image. And we can see that burst of light on the horizon, the, the white clouds, which we can see as being representative of, of hope. Um, but as you can see, it does seem quite unattainable. So even though there is hope that is visible in the image to the persona that's trapped and confined, that hope is something that he can't reach out to, which is, has a strong message about depression. Colour is our second talking point, and the, the blue hue, in fact practically the whole image is, uh, has a tinge of blue to it, um, adds to that sense of depression, and takes us into the enclosed world that the character is in. On symbolism there are a few things we can talk about. The bottle certainly captures the fact that this, the persona is trapped or caged in. There's certain expectations or limitations to how he can express himself or how he can connect with the outside world. There is an illusion, and an illusion is a word that, that we can look into. So an illusion or to allude to something is to make a reference make reference to something that the audience also knows about so in this case we are all familiar with the idea of a message in a bottle being sent from a, a ship lost at sea or a sinking ship um, and having a message in that bottle so uh, perhaps this the persona uh, his life can be con compared to a shipwreck there's also the, the helmet in the image which covers, conceals the persona's face uh, for, all, for all intents and purposes the, the persona could be wearing any kind of face covering but uh, when someone is dealing with depression we, we see a little bit of insight a little bit of insight into that world in that there is a loss of identity we can't see the character's face we don't know who it is we don't know if it's male or female. So there's that loss of identity associated with depression and associated with isolation and going it alone. The liquid in the bottle, we can safely assume, or in one reading of, of this image, we can, we can assume and we can argue that that is representative of alcohol and that perhaps that is the, the reason behind this state of isolation or why this persona is trapped inside a bottle. So in a, uh, in a literal sense in the image, this character is trapped in the bottle, and in a figurative sense, or as a metaphor, the persona is trapped inside this addiction to alcohol. 
So as we look at how you can take those ideas and construct an answer or to construct an extended response, as a, as a basic look at the topic sentence for any of the paragraphs, if you're writing two or three paragraphs in response to this image, there's, there's a, a formula, a basic formula you can follow with your topic sentence. And obviously, you can change this up to, to add originality to your writing, but in terms of giving yourself a, a launch pad, we can start with the Illustrator Users. The Illustrator Users, Light to Highlight, Demonstrate or Show. These are other words that you can use in those places. Uh, and then explain the point that you're making. The Illustrator Users, Light to Highlight, how there is hope on the horizon for this character. The Illustrator uh, employees light to demonstrate how there is hope on the horizon for this character and then you would go on to explain after your topic sentence for each paragraph we have explanation further explanation and evidence evidence being this specific reference to the image describe exactly what what you're talking about describe the light clouds and the dark sky on the left hand side of the image be specific that the explain and the evidence are interchangeable, so you can bring your evidence in first and explain further, or you can explain the idea further and then bring in your evidence. And then your link sentence to finish up, remembering that acronym, TEAL, to help you construct effective paragraphs. Remember also that inside, within explain and evidence, those two E's, you need to make sure you have a specific example, be very specific there, and also explaining how or why, why has the illustrator or composer done this? Why have they included those white clouds in the image? Um, why, is, why is the image predominantly blue? Make sure these explanations are included in there. That's the basic rundown of how you can approach uh, uh, questions that deal with a visual text. Tomorrow when you come into class you will face a question that deals with this image you can bring in your notes so make sure you take on board those ideas and you're welcome to argue the same arguments or you might have a completely different reading of the image thanks gentlemen